Hi, I'm John Peters, and today I'm up in Vermont building a clothesline. This is a quick sketch I made before I started. Now this is a 10 foot, 4 by 4 inch treated post. The cross piece here is a 6 foot post. Now I bought a 12 foot piece and cut it in half. And these sections here are 2 by 4 and I used a 10 footer and I'm going to use 28 inch long pieces for these cross sections here. So now I'm going to put my lap joint in the post of the clothesline first. And I'm measuring down 9 inches and then I'm going to square across. Now I'm going to take the cross piece and line it there, line it across that square mark put a line and I'll cut that out with a circular saw. I've set the depth of my circular saw blade to exactly one and three quarter inches. Now that's the exact depth of half of a 4x4 four four because a 4x4 four four actually measures 3.5 by 3.5. Now I'm going to use the saw to cut right on this line first, then right on the inside of this line, and then I'll back the saw up about a quarter of an inch each time, plowing out one saw curve. Now that I've got my lap joint cut into my post, I'm going to soften the edge of the post with a 45 degree angle cut at the top, almost like a chamfer, using a chamfer bit on a router. To put my lap joint on the cross section, I'm going to measure 36 inches, which is the center of the cross piece because it's a six foot long cross piece and then I'm going to measure out an inch and three quarters and I'll square across and from this line I'll measure the three and a half and I'll remove this material the same way I did on the post. Okay, well now my cross section is attached and I'm going to cut two more braces on the chop saw. Now I've already cut all of my braces to length and all I need to do is cut a 45 degree angle on each one.
I'm using 3 inch exterior deck screws to attach the braces. I've measured and evenly spaced out the marks for my eye hooks that will hold the clothesline. Now I'm going to pre-drill a hole. And with the hole pre-drilled, the eye hook will easily twist into place. I'll tighten it the rest of the way with a screwdriver for some leverage.